Hi. Hi, Al. What's this? It's for you. It's for me. It's a frozen pea. Well, I was supposed to eat this. No, no. <laughs> Open that first, yeah? Propel this pea the furthest distance. Your pea must land and remain on the red carpet. I'll just frighten this. Will the pea definitely land on the... Oh, so the pea's got a... Well, it's up to you, whatever you think the carpet. Your pea is. must land on the... Well, it's going to land on it. Is that... That's on the carpet? Well, that, that'll be on the carpet. Will There's it? a pea in there. Isn't it? That's what, that's it doesn't say the pea must land on the carpet. The pea will be on the carpet. It doesn't say it must make contact with the carpet. You do what you think's right, Rob. Well, if Davies has got a problem with it, I'll knock him out. <laughs> I mean, there's a few things to address there, isn't there? Um, I mean, you're a younger man than me, and you're probably fitter, but if I get one haymaker on you, mate, I <laughs> will arguably kill you. And the second thing is, yeah. don't disrespect me, or I'll make you come last. OK. Um, it's worth us talking about the fact that what they shouldn't do, obviously, is to fling the pea, cos there's the carpet and then there's the grass. Well, no-one's going to get that task and see a tiny pea and a... Uh, Red carpet in a windy garden think I'm just going to bung this. Well, no, we've picked some very... Uh, These are intelligent people, right? Very bright. <laughs> very bright. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll start with Sarah, Paul and Dave. If you like. <laughs> 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 Sarah, let's see how far this gets, then. Fuck, this ain't going to work, is it? I've lost the pea. You gave me a green pea. I haven't got to find the pea. Any clues? I think it's on the, on, the, on the grass. I can't see it on the carpet. Yeah, we could spend a lot of time looking for a pea. <laughs> I mean, but how do we know where it is? Who can see that far? It's on the carpet. I'm just going to go and have a sit down. Can I get you anything? A pea? Not to you. <laughs> just like, I quite like a pea. To compare it to? Or... As a comparison, yeah, that'd yeah. be nice. And I'll, also, I'll... you know, I just like a, as a snack of frozen... I will get you a pea, but I will mark the pea. If you wouldn't mind. OK, thank you very much. I brought you a pea, but I don't, I don't think you should eat it, cos I've sort of injected it with black ink. I, I do trust you, but I don't entirely trust you. OK, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm going to eat this one. Have you eaten it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swallowed. Oh, my God. It's wedged in the strings of the, of the racket. <laughs> it's there all along. Pink <laughs> Would you like us to measure that? Yeah. Congratulations on 12 Thank metres 11. Thank you very much. I'm very, very... Pleased with that. Pleased with that. I can't imagine someone beating 12 metres. Dave. <laughs> yes. yes. OK, yes. let's cut to the chase here. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. A very simple question. Yeah. And I want you to answer honestly. <laughs> now, <laughs> you're not in trouble. <laughs> but I'm asking you directly now. Yeah. Did you cheat? No. I'm going to ask you one more time. <laughs> did you cheat? No, Greg. No, I did not. <laughs> we can see the racket there. So that's where it got... It got wedged. I mean, it looks firmly wedged, doesn't it, Dave? It was wedged. Yeah. yeah. I mean, wedged. we can also see the racket just after you struck the pea. Um, pea's gone. Or has it? I know what's happened here. I know what's happened here. At some point, while trying to search for the pea, I was using the racket to oh. squeak through the <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> I, I believe Dave. I'll put this on first of all. I'll be honest, this feels a bit kinky. <laughs> There used to be a guy in my village who used to wear one of these. Is this my task? <laughs> God, I feel like I'm back at school in science lessons. Oh, I really, uh, really need my reading goggles. In the lab, there is a watermelon. Eat as much watermelon as possible. You have one minute. The time starts when you open the door to the lab. I'm allergic to watermelon. 
frustrating as I just ate one in my dressing room. Uh, I love watermelon. I'm a big fan of it. But, you know, I'm sure it was going to be ruined by this experience. If you're in any doubt about the tone of this show, now you know. Uh, there's five comedians being forced to eat as much watermelon as they can. <laughs> Well, it's wearing a white boiler suit. We're going to see Ramesh and Tim together. together. I've, I've grouped them and you'll see why. <laughs> Amazing how far we've come from <laughs> Josh Widdicombe gently spooning melon into his mouth <laughs> to two psychopaths. <laughs> Tim, how do you... I mean, oh, really you, powerful have, start. You'll have recognised the technique. Oh, I love the technique. It's your grandmother's technique. Oh, God, God. <laughs> it's, what, it's what she's evolved. She wrote, she wrote yeah. the book on it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, well, you know, it's a minute, it's a watermelon. It's got to be grandmother technique. Smash it Smash. and eat it. Can I just say, I, I genuinely um, thought I was going to die. Like, like <laughs> basically, I, when the whistle went, I, my throat was full of watermelon and then... <laughs> My, my body just went, let's try and get that down, shall we? And, and then I started, like... It was a weird situation because I had this bit of watermelon in yeah, my throat. quite a weird situation, <laughs> wasn't it? But it was... It was... It's really surreal. It was really big and I kept trying to swallow and my body made... Like, I just went... <laughs> Like, like it was, it was horrendous. My instinct is that Tim Key probably gobbled the most melon there because of the vomiting. I asked whether it counts if you vomit, do you weigh the vomit? And you said no. That's why I didn't vomit. I think when the whistle goes, if the melon's still inside you, it counts. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> because I think I produced more melon than I ate. <laughs> <laughs> My instinct is that Keys won this. Yes, tell well, me otherwise. Um, Tim ate 302 grams of watermelon in one minute, and Ramesh ate 301 grams. Whoa! The way I measured it was scooping up and weighing what was left in the room compared to what was in the watermelon, so some of that had been in Ramesh at one point. Fine, so you scooped up Ramesh's vomit. <laughs> so, I mean, it's up to you. There's one gram difference, but also there was a bit, there's a bit of dodgy business with Tim. If you just want to have a look at this. Ah. Oh dear, oh dear. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I love melon. <laughs> How could you possibly, at the end of that task, go, do you know what I fancy? <laughs> Cobbled an extra bit of melon, which would mean he was the winner if we count that bit of melon. Yeah, so I didn't weigh that bit because it was in Tim. If you want to subtract nine from Tim's, it would put Rummish in the lead. That's up to you, though. What I find very difficult about it is I'm pretty sure that Tim winked at us as he left. <laughs> Did he wink at us? It's very hard to tell. If it was a wink, it was a bad wink. But um, we can have a look. <laughs> if that's a wink, that's, that's such breathtaking arrogance from okay. <laughs> I'm going to let the audience decide. Give me a cheer if you think that was a wink. Yeah! I'm taking nine grams off you. Move the water from bucket A to bucket B. I saw this coming a mile away. You must not move the buckets. Most water moved wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts... Not quite this... Y uh, what have I got? A sieve. Is this bucket A? Yes, it is, yeah. It's not a trick. Oh! Oh! What's happening? <laughs> Why is there a hole in this bag? There's a trick.
trick, wouldn't it? <laughs> what the peas? Pardon? What are the peas for? Oh, I thought it might help move the water. No. So we've got to move that water down to that bucket. Yes, please, Paul. Oh, this is horrible. Just moving the bucket of freezing cold water, isn't it? I mean, there's actual bits of ice in here. You've had tremendously bad luck with the weather all series, oh, haven't you? That was, that was the first thing we did. It was like 9 a.m. and it was minus three or something. It was minus five. Minus five. <laughs> and, and the weather for everybody else is perfectly lovely. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. And a, a wonderful collection of rubbish to help them move the water. Yep, woolly hat, colander, bag of peas and holes, a tray, a string bag, a cellar tape and a coconut. Right. Uh, loads of things that are clearly useless for moving water. These are intelligent people. They won't try and use them, right? <laughs> Next up, we've got <laughs> Dave and Sarah. Ready? Right, what the hell have we got here? A sellotape, this hat, I was going to wear the hat. A coconut. Seriously? <laughs> Ten minutes, you say? Well, nine and a half now. It's just some a delicious snack, one, I'm thinking. <laughs> How's the water moving going? There's no water being moved as yet. Just an experiment at the moment. <laughs> yeah, not great. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. I thoroughly enjoyed Dave being very measured about him. What can I use? That doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. Ah, the hose. Yeah, that seems like a logical way of containing water. Good. It's full. I'm taking the colander too! <laughs> you all walked out of a pavilion, which only took you about three minutes to walk from it, full of buckets. You could have run back there. It's going to waste time looking around a pavilion for a bucket when you've, uh, <laughs> you've got a coconut to be having in the <laughs> How often I told Alex I hated him. Yeah, he told me. In between, fairly hysterical crying. <laughs> Can we have some scores, please? Sarah, the best at opening a coconut, then did eight little trips with a coconut in the end. 0.8 centimetres of water. <laughs> uh, a little bit of water. <laughs> I'm so ashamed! Dave did the most trips and achieved, uh, so far, the highest score of 7.8 centimetres. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see the buckets? Do you want to see what, looks, what yes. the buckets look like? Yeah, let's have a look at the amount of water in the buckets. It's quite nice to see them, quite a soothing image. We've got um, Al Murray's there. Over 11 centimetres, says Paul, with the peas. Rob Beckett's there, 6.6 .6 centimetres. Sarah Pascoe's just 0 0.8. <laughs> and then finally, we've got Dave Gorman's. I, I was swallowing it and I was bringing up bile from within me because it was such a poisonous Was he drinking tea? Liquid. Are you saying that that's come out of your mouth? What, is that, why is that colour? You know, like, I, like, you saw I was siphoning, I was running hard, I'm not in good shape, and it was making me feel quite <laughs> nauseous. You look nervous, Dave. You're not in trouble, you is know that. No, no, he <laughs> just cheated again! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dave, I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> Have you, again, cheated? <laughs> I can honestly say no to that because I didn't cheat before. <laughs> have you cheated? Might have done. <laughs> yeah, well, we did uh, film it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Dave. If you want to yeah. go and get, get warm. You've seen what I'm capable of. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know till we looked at the bucket and then we examined that little camera. Really? So, yeah. yeah. How, how much do you want me to give to the dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dave, you're disqualified from that round, I'm afraid. <gasps> oh. <laughs> rules is rules. Nil point. <laughs>
Oh, this curtain. <laughs> you, may not, <laughs> you may not look at the person. The person may only say yes and no. You'll get a bonus point if you can find out the person's full name. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Hello. Are you, are you behind the curtain? Yes. <laughs> It's a good job there's not a limit on the amount of questions you can ask. <laughs> That'd be a wasted question right there, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who's first? Well, interestingly, I've grouped Joe, Lolly, Mel and Noel together, so I've... I've... <laughs> Me again? <laughs> well, not... You've isolated Hugh. I have isolated yeah. Hugh. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Why would that be? <laughs> really? Yes. Let's see Hugh. Yeah. Oh. So I may not look at the person. Am I allowed out of the caravan? Why do you want to go out of the caravan, Hugh? I'm going to lift the curtain to expose you. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you in, in a mirror. Here goes the curtain. Three minutes. OK. I'm going to lift it again, cos I can't really remember what's going on. You've got two minutes left, Hugh. OK. Doing that. It's not really a caricature, is it? It's a, <laughs> a quick look at the old arm. Coming again. <laughs> Ten seconds. I think I'm just going to stop that. <whistles> yes, if you would. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have a look in your mirror? I think I'm looking at you. Am no, looking... no, that doesn't. No, you're not looking at me. You're looking at the image of me. It looks like you. Yeah, no, but it's it's the image of me. It's like looking at a film. It's exactly the same principle. I'm looking at you. You're not. I'm not looking at me. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking in the mirror. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking in the mirror. Where are you looking now? I'm back at school. <laughs> you can't touch me, can you, by doing that? Why not? No. I've touched the mirror. You've touched the mirror. Oh, I see what you mean. So that's not me. Yes, it is. No, that's not me. That's an image. I don't know. I genuinely don't know how I feel about it. When we get muddled, we listen to Michael Jackson, don't we? And he was looking at the man in the mirror. He wasn't looking at Michael Jackson in the mirror. So it I wasn't. think it's probably all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it would have been a rubbish song, I'm looking at me in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking me to change his ways. Of course, he didn't change his ways, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm, I'm still not sure whether to allow it. If you drawing of the model is spectacular, mm -hmm. then I think we can allow it. OK, well, do you want to see what she looked like first? Probably, yeah. OK, this is her. <laughs> OK. And do you want to see her next to Hugh's picture of I... her? <laughs> well, I... I can't imagine that that lady <laughs> would look any less distinctly like that lady in a mirror. <laughs> well, yeah, Hugh looked at the image of her in the mirror several times, and he drew this. <laughs> I realised... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was sitting side on. Yeah. Oh, you've yeah. got the aspect right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for you, what we've learnt to you is <laughs> that a mirror image takes a black woman <laughs> into a fat, bald, white man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's not in right. many yeah. ways, it is the Michael Jackson story. <laughs> yeah. good it's really good. <laughs> I mean, in many ways, it's the best thing I've ever seen on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. Completely empty, this bathtub. Fastest wins. You must not remove the part plug, tip or damage the bath. The time starts now. What? What didn't you understand about that task? <laughs> I do understand.
fun a task. Yeah, no, it was an easy task. It was just empty the bath without removing the plug. But there are lots of, lots of different varieties of methods. Uh, completely empty this bathtub. Fastest wins. You must not remove the plug. Tip or damage the bath. Your time starts now. Tip or damage? Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Can we get a towel? Yeah. Now. We... Yep. Just put it there. Where? Where, where do you want it? Uh, just on the floor. Towel. Ladies and gentlemen, without question, a special round of applause for who I presume is the inevitable winner, Mr Tim Key. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible passion from both men. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, it's a good, good time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ramesh, uh, you emptied the bathtub in two minutes and 50 seconds. Whoa. Pretty quick. <laughs> Pretty quick. Terrible. <laughs> Tim Key smashed that, surely. He did smash it. Yes, he did. He, d he emptied the bathtub in two minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. So, very good. So nice to have a decisive winner in a round. I loved it. Yes. Really enjoyed it. There's one slight issue in that there was a rule saying you're not allowed to remove the plug. And during the passion of Tim, <laughs> we did spot, if you just have a look again, you can just see the plug, but it wasn't in all the time. was dislodged. I mean, that, that knocks him down into seconds. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. The thing is, if he'd been... I didn't know that. Well, you say that. I mean, we have got footage of you after the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> after the event. What were What's you doing this? here, Tim? What's this? What's that face? What's that face say? That's me having completed the task, just having a little walk around. <laughs> what, I, what, what have you picked up there, Tim? Picked up. Sorry? I, oh, I was just wondering what you. Sorry, <laughs> you, you, you picked something up there. Pick right? the what plug you, up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, put it back in the bath. You did do that. You picked up the plug and put it back in the bath, but you disguised your actions. What? what? Of course, because I, cause it's cheating. <laughs> what do you mean? Can we see how effectively he disguised putting the yes, plug we can. back in? Any doubt at all I had about whether that was a wink in the previous round. <laughs> oh, that was a wink, all right. What's the fair thing to do? I take him down two places, right? It's up to you. It's he up to you. Took the plug Shut out. up, Roche. He took the plug out. Why don't you just drop me down by a place? No way. You've got to. You've got to go, Roche. What do you think? He took the plug out of the bath. He took the plug out of the bath, and that's enough for you. You should go into last place. Yeah. Get all judgmental, getting on your high horse. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Horse. She did go last place. So, but he should be honourable and do, go last place. You cheated. Yeah. Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what, I'll do it for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put him in last place. Judgment done. <laughs> uh, I'm upping my game. At last. <laughs> yeah. Back in the room of evil delights. Paul, let's get you into the grapefruit. The grapefruit may not leave this room. Hear that? Most spaghetti in the grapefruit wins. You have ten minutes. The last eight minutes, you must stand with both feet on a spot on the floor. Your time starts now. 
so I've got two minutes to come up with some. I get it. Get the spaghetti and the grapefruit. Let's crack on. Next up are Johnny and Moan. It's okay if I break spaghetti and use some as experimentation, isn't it? Okay. Doesn't see it. Okay, cool. Worth a shot. He's got a full drawer, a full drawer, just full of zip sealed bags. This tells me you're up to no good. Do be careful with that. Oh. I'm just making big holes. Is it that easy? Fun. Wait, is this just not going? Are you, have you got nighttime cameras? What, what are nighttime cameras? It's what they use on most haunted. Oh, Finger in a tangerine. It's a grapefruit. About three and a half minutes left. I want to play you at your own game. What, what do you mean? Nothing. Um, <laughs> don't you just hate it when you run out of grapefruit space? We've all been there, innit? Well done. Can I ask you both whether the lights going off made any difference whatsoever, other than making you both sound really creepy? <laughs> it, it did to me. Did, did it make it worse? Yeah, cos it was just the... the angle of, you know, penetration with the, with the pasta. Johnny, <laughs> because he pre-drilled the fruit, got 407 grams in, two hamsters. The way I measured them was seeing how much was left in the jar and subtracting that uh -huh. from the original total of 1,000 grams. There was none left in the jar. Well, that's because he put all of the spaghetti into the Well, I always double-check double my measurements. And so I did, I did then measure the spaghetti in the grapefruit and there's only 442 grams. So there's oh, 500 oh. odd grams of spaghetti missing. Oh, you might want to check that. Well, yeah. I did check it. I really, I really listened to the soundtrack of Moana's attempt and actually, after I'd finished, there were some noises. Just no. listen to what happened when he left the room. <laughs> oh, my. That is Moan's dressing room there, and that is his bin. What? That, what? This is a stitch-up. I don't... Are you shocked? That is I... despicable. Of all the people here, you're the last person I would have... You're the last to um, Really? Yeah. So... Is he going to be disqualified? From the whole thing. I don't, I don't know. It's exciting, isn't it? I don't know, and I'll be the one to decide. Well, I still get paid for the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a technical rule breaking, not, even. Uh, it's yeah, just... Was he not technically breaking the rules? Then? No, but it's the sneaky intent that troubles mm, me. I was yes. like, you put me in the dark. I'm going to have some fun. It's not fun to be sneaky. No, that's a, that's you're a, past... a psychopath. I'm going to say it. You're a sneaky pasta snake. I'm a, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you are. You're a sneaky pasta snake. But still, he's in the lead. 442 grams in the no, what? No, 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 no
It's a book. The. The we got, yeah. Jurassic Park. No, it's not the Jurassic Park, is it? No. <laughs> <Start> again! <laughs> What's he doing now? Book. I'm doing a thing where I'm, I'm not allowed to raise my voice. Uh, yes. yeah, but yeah. you're not me. Yeah, yeah. If you were to shout across that river yeah. Yeah. the words, the lion, the witch and the wardrobe, <laughs> yeah. that'd be very helpful. OK. Don't vote. Yeah. Lion, the witch and the wardrobe. Lion, the witch and the wardrobe. <laughs> Mad Max. Max. Winnie the Pooh! Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh. Taskmaster! Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Good show. Yeah, no one's heard of that. No. <laughs> Dave Gorman! Modern life is Guinness! Dave, Dave Gorman's. Sorry, say again! Try <laughs> <laughs> me a river! The Bible! Die hard! They're out. They've run oh, out. They're done. <laughs> OK. So you use five minutes. How handy that Ben Fogel... <laughs> and that was actually Ben Fogel. Yeah, right? Ben Fogel. Yeah. How Mary paid five grand for him to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was doing a photo shoot on the foreshore of the river, just by coincidence. So what happens when your granddad's a foreign secretary? You can get anyone to... <laughs> It is, a, it is a lot easier. In charades, it is easier when you can say the name. They yeah. still didn't get one. They didn't. They genuinely didn't get Dave Gorman. No, I, modern I, I, life I, is rubbish. Yeah. They got all but that, but it's a long what, time. What did you just call it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> modern life is gonna... yeah. Sorry, Dave Gordon. So even when you're reading it, you can't get it <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> uh, but they did get 19 out of 20. Good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's, 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 I don't hands like that was good gamemanship. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have done the same in that situation? No, I like to play for fun. So, they, did they just win that one, then? It didn't say that you couldn't get Ben Fogel to shout <laughs> <them. laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>